Hello and welcome. Welcome to our June monthly abundance and vision call. These explorations happen every, uh, generally every first weekday of the month, unless that's a holiday. So uh, if you have the page where all those uh, information is listed, just bookmark the page and you can set a reminder for yourself so you know when to join our journeys. And these monthly abundance journeys, you know, they're not just about abundance, but they're about uh, energetic uh, alignment. You know, sometimes they are more about abundance. Sometimes they are about global healing. Sometimes they are about you know, inner healing. Sometimes they are about boosting your vibration or detox. Depending on what shows up, you know, we go through some enhancements. So similar to uh, the last month, May, uh, this month, June, is also a fire month. That means the element fire is very effective in its flow globally. This is a metal energy year. Every two years, the element, the primary element changes. I talk more about that during the uh, feng shui uh, calls. But also different months have different influences of different elements. So June is a fire month. So uh, this month, you know, let's continue to focus on boosting your vibration. Let's continue to focus on uh, bringing out your inner passion. If you are attending the cosmic creation, then this month we are exploring the soul healing star Myra and our focus is the healing of the ego so the ego and the higher level of consciousness align more. Now, when the ego is in alignment with your higher consciousness, it serves the best way it can. When it's not in alignment, it creates constant disharmony and uh, you have sort of a conflict between what your consciousness, what your higher consciousness, what your cosmic consciousness wants what your life purpose is and versus what the personality wants to do short term. So let's continue to focus on boosting our vibration. Now globally, we're noticing that, um, you know, similar to the last year or so, a lot of changes are happening. They will continue to happen, especially for the next few months. You know, uh, they, we will uh, notice a lot of uh, different ways coming through us and going through us and flowing through us and sometimes bringing out different deep core issues that we need to address before the new waves can fully anchor. The new waves are bringing in more of the um, energies to rise above many of the uh, systems and models that you know, we may have been using for um, you know, sometimes a few thousand years. In a lot of the financial model, a lot of the models around um, running after money instead of focusing on alignment and doing things that helps you, helps your vision, helps the planet. So a lot of these energies are shifting. Sometimes before major shifts happen, we see things can be quite chaotic because there is um, there's a battle between what wants to come in and versus what a portion of humanity wants to hold on to. You know, we resist changes. So changes when allowed, you know, the cosmic changes I'm talking about, uh, when these changes are allowed to come to us more easily, then we can shift from one uh, set of information or energy to another. Now imagine the seasons, right? We are changing seasons, you know, from spring to summer to fall to winter. Now imagine wanting to hold on to summer so tightly that you don't allow other seasons to come in. 
it's a part of Earth's natural cycle. So when we have certain systems that you know that are present and we want to hold on to, we don't want it to change. We create so much resistance that at some point things build up in such a way that there needs to be um, you know some kind of an outbreak. And it can come naturally through forces of nature. It can come through different groups or different countries or um, you know, different individuals, uh, but somehow there needs to be that outbreak, right? If lava is building up, it has to come out somehow. And it has to come out through some space or some spot. So. Uh, let's understand that change is the only constant. So when we are noticing a lot of cosmic energies that are higher in vibration coming in, they will take us to a higher level as long as we allow it. So that's why it's important to really think about letting go of the past and thinking about a new future. Be curious that what it may look like. Tune into possibilities. I mean, instead of um, you know, thinking about, I don't know what it's going to be like, or I don't know what it's going to look like, or what it will do for me, or it would be, you know, if it would be, if it will bring in um, you know, um, more of this option or that option, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's really focus on inviting the new possibility that's higher in vibration. So when it's higher in vibration, we can uh, raise our vibration, we can together raise our collective vibration, and we can raise uh, global vibration, like Earth's vibration can increase. So, you know, for that reason, it's really important for all of us to uh, uh, take some time every day and run some of the holographic tools or programs or some of the nature energy vortices or some of the star energy vortices. Uh, you, know, you pick and choose, but the main thing is you dedicate some time for yourself. That's the first thing. And then for rippling out those high vibration energies through your area, city, state, country, and circulating it through the entire planet. You know, for um, since last week, many of our global community members have been using the rose gold vortex meditation. So if you have it, you know, join us daily. If you don't have it, it's still available for uh, this week. I think four hundred dollars off. But it's the it's a part of the love, luck, and empowerment series. I know a huge number of our global community members have that series. And um, you know, uh, time to time, we focus on different uh, tracks. So you know, every day I'm running it, and I'm also running the vortex energies, you know, for the community and for the planet. So just join me uh, for another week, and then you can continue to do this on your own. And you know, whichever journeys I'm running, you know, I'm I will make an announcement. Just join, and together we can amplify the energies more easily. So today, let's focus on um, shifting some of our inner energies to invite more changes. And when you come to the monthly journeys, you can also bring some of your ideas, goals, and vision about what you would love to experience. Have that energy. Think about the energy of what you desire inside a golden sphere and that golden sphere is in front of you. And as you go through the journey, the golden sphere is going through the journey with you and all the vortex energies are going through your desired reality. So when you keep focusing on it more, you will align more with that vibration. You know, just like when people watch a lot of TV, a lot of news, they're constantly tuning into the worst case scenarios and all kinds of issues and challenges. You know, uh, instead of that, when we detach from some of those energies, 
and we focus on uh, what you would love to experience, then you will notice that after a while, it doesn't matter what's happening all over the world, things are working out for you. And when that happens, then you can actually make a bigger impact worldwide because you're not caught up in the same news and drama like majority of the people on the planet. Yeah, there is that 80-20 rule. There used to be that 80-20 rule, but now, you know, um, well, not now, but since uh, for the last 20 years or 15 years, I've heard many uh, researchers talk about it has become 90-10 rule. You know, now it may be even, uh, um, the numbers may have changed more, but basically what they're talking about is 10% people take action, 90% people don't. They just allow life happen based on uh, media influence and other external influences. So disconnecting from what is being projected onto you is important. Yeah, so um, think about what you would love to experience. Think about your ideal vision and then tune into those energies. And if you don't know how to tune in, you know, it's just simple. Just use some of the holographic tools and programs like Restoring Our Abundance, Liquid Luck, uh, Perfect Health and Fitness. That's a good one, uh, especially for now. And then, um, you know, or choose some of the other programs too. And just think about a clockwise spiraling vortex. It's spiraling through you. You know, um, make up some colors in your mind, a golden vortex for luck and abundance, a rose vortex for love and relationship, an emerald green vortex for healing, because like nature's healing energies, um, for aligning with your higher consciousness, life purpose, and anything cosmic, you can think about a starry blue vortex. You know, when you look at the stars uh, in the sky, night sky, most of them, or a huge number of them, would look like a bluish, starry blue color. So imagine that vortex represents your higher level of connection, your um, uh, cosmic connection, soul connection, uh, future possibilities, um, life purpose, energy, and more. So you can color code this in your mind. And when you run the vortex energies, um, think about these colors and these energies are spiraling through you. Now they, when you keep doing that, you train your brain with these colors, just like the traffic signal, like red, yellow, green, they are imprinted in us since childhood. And we know what to do based on what colors we see. We don't even think, right? If you're driving, you see red, your foot automatically goes to um, slow down the car and brake, right? So similarly, just think golden color and your system can respond that, okay, this is abundance and luck. And when you're running, restoring our abundance or liquid luck or both at the same time, just have that um, golden color, golden vortex spiral through you and your system will respond to that, that, okay, this is luck and abundance. So any kind of uh, luck and abundance uh, energies uh, that would be beneficial for you will show up, you know, any moment. Yeah, so uh, similarly, uh, emerald green for healing and rose for um, love and relationship and support, and then starting blue for all kinds of cosmic energies, vision, purpose, and more. So let's play with some of these energies. And throughout the month, uh, you can continue to watch the journeys or just do the steps on your own. Uh, each day, I recommend at least 10 minutes. You know, it's really important. It would be more important when, or more powerful when you can do it 10 minutes multiple times a day, maybe in the morning, in the afternoon, at night before you go to sleep. So just a few 10 minute vortex energies could create a lot of magic for you 
we need to consistently start doing them because then you will build up the momentum and um, it will be like a dam, right? You fill up the dam with water, then it overflows. You know, it cannot overflow first because there's not enough water in the dam. So your system needs to embody more of these luck, love, uh, abundance, and healing vortex energies. So then you can go into an overflowing state, meaning these energies show up more easily in your space and in your life and in your family and in your career and business and everything that you do. Let's begin our journey and processing today. Gently close your eyes. Focus on your heart. And begin to breathe in and out. Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow these energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Allow the energies to spiral through you up and down and raise your vibration.
Let's breathe in and out. Let's now run a detox on your system for any kind of non-beneficial global influence that got imprinted in the last year and a half. This may be from other people, from media, from collective worries and doubts and fear, things that came from others or things that may have come from you. Let's include all of those. And I will use the rings of harmony for everyone. Think about dirty water coming out at full force, going into a universal recycling bin. Focus on detoxing and purifying your system, your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Let's extend the detox energies for the entire planet. Notice every city, every country, every continent, and the entire planet, including all the water bodies, lakes, rivers, ponds, oceans. Everything is going through a global detox dirty water coming out of the entire planet, going into a universal recycling bin. The energies are getting recycled and transformed. The vibration on earth is going up. 
and your inner vibration is increasing. Let's breathe in and out. Think about your vision for the month and extending it for the whole year. Let's open up the holographic vision board in front of you. 
I will also open it so in case you don't have it, you can use it. You can imagine it like a spreadsheet with two columns in its simplest form. Place your ideas, goals, or vision in the left-hand column. And in the right-hand column, the vision board scans the information and generates any issues, challenges, or non-beneficial information that's causing you disharmony or preventing you from achieving your vision. Under the right hand column, visualize a button that says uninstall. Press it with your finger and also in your mind. You're uninstalling all the issues and challenges showing up that are connected to your ideas. begin to bring in solutions for you and bring in healing for you.
Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently. Notice from the vision board, the solution energies are turning into a vortex. And this is a multicolored vortex based on your ideas and your visions. Notice the vortex energies coming towards you and spiraling through you. Tune in. Notice the vortex energies spiraling through every cell, through your energy field, through your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and beliefs. Integrate higher vibrational energies, solutions, and possibilities.
Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Allow the energies to harmonize for you. Come back to your present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. Yeah, it was fun. It's always um, extra fun for me to, you know, start this um, journey or do this journey on the first of the month. Um, so, you know, then we have the whole month and we can each continue to play with the energies. So throughout the month, you know, please continue to use the vortex energies for you for your ideas, goals, and visions. Um, if you are a part of M3, then you, know, you have outlined your three-year vision. You know, that's a lot more important than your yearly vision because you know, people in general overestimate what they can do in one year and they underestimate what they can do in three years. So sometimes our three-year vision would be almost the same as the yearly vision, just a little bit more. And so when you're focusing on a larger three-year vision, and if you have a life vision, feel free to add it. But then when you're focusing on a bigger vision, a bigger picture, then you're not stressed out you know, thinking about you need to meet your goal. You know, this is not a, a sales journey, sales contest. You know, it's a life journey, life design process. So, you know, let's continue to boost the energies and keep using the vortex energies. And if you are not a part of M3, you know, do consider it, take a look at it. And then each month, and especially after the first Thursday of the live call, then we go through every Thursday, you know, repeating the group journey. Uh, so each week we actually go through uh, the journey, the integration for 6% increase, vision vortex, outrageous vision and more. And then on every Sunday, you know, we go through the cosmic creation. The first Sunday is live, which is coming up on uh, June 6th. And then all the other Sundays, we will go through the same uh, journey as a group. So this month we will focus on healing your ego and aligning more with your soul vision uh, with the soul healing star Myra. Okay, so um, if you haven't taken, uh, uh, if you didn't take a look at the cosmic creation page, you can look at a video of Myra uh, or what it looks like um, and um, more of an animation um, um, by NASA and others that what the star looks like as it you know, goes through the universe. It's an actual shooting star. It's uh, traveling at a very high speed and it's been traveling through the universe for 6 billion years. And so we will focus on Myra. When I first connected to Myra um, a few years ago, I heard from the star consciousness that this is a soul healing star. It goes through the universe, bringing in a lot of healing energies for the different groups, different uh, beings, different planets and stars and uh, more. So let's play with those energies and do as much as we can to help boost our vibration and then rippling it out for the entire planet. Now collectively, when we can raise the global vibration by raising our individual vibration and the vibration of our areas by you know, maybe 6%, 10% or more, we give humanity a big push. And when more of us continue to come and do that from all over the world, we can achieve the threshold faster. So thanks for joining. Wishing you a lot of magic. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to share anything, you can 
raise your hand using the participants button. I will unmute the, uh, your line and I will actually stop the recording first. So uh, the Q&A is not recorded, it's live. And you can watch the video anytime on um, the Life Harmonized channel on YouTube. 